So this is what we are going to have to learn right now, a different brand of leadership. Are you with me? So we're going to talk today. You have seen a remarkable man talk about his experiences of climbing Mount Everest. Are you with me? And I was fortunate that I was able to meet Farouk just now again a little while. And I have watched this with you. It's amazing. But there were a lot of truisms, meaning a lot of truth in what he said. Are you with me? For example, he talked about that he had to conquer himself first. Are you with me? See, the truth of the matter is we all have Mount Everest sitting inside. Every one of us. And the truth again is you have to climb that mountain. That is the purpose for which you were born. That is the purpose for which you are here. Are you with me? There's a lot of truth that we are going to discuss today. Some of it will be lessons that your parents have told you many, many times over the years. Are you with me? And still, being who we are, we don't listen. Is if you want to master something, you do it every single day. Whatever you do every single day, you will be the master of. Are you with me? Anything that you do every single day, you will be the master of. So the question is, what do you choose to do every single day? Because these are the things that are going to define you. Everything begins with thought. Everything begins with thinking. So it begins with thought. From thought, it translates into word. You start to think about it. Then you start to talk about it. Are you with me? From word, it translates into action. And whatever you translate into action, meaning whatever you start to do every single day, starts to become your habit. Are you with me? And your habit will become your character. So how did we start again? From thought to word, word to action, action to character. Character makes your destiny. So the process begins here. The process begins in your thought. Are you with me? So imagine that you will be destined by what you think. You have to start. You have to start to be careful about what you think. Because what you think, you will become. Farouk did not just climb Mount Everest one day, just like that, wake up and think to himself, I'm going to climb Mount Everest today and just start. He had been thinking thinking about it for a long time. Are you with me? He has been working towards it for a long time. Are you with me? And it has become part of his daily practice. He had to climb a hundred mountains before this. He had to climb hills, from hills to mountains. He had to plan for the you know, smaller ones, then slowly develop it from stage to stage till eventually 
he was ready to do the Everest. But he was climbing the Everest in his mind many times before he actually started to do it. Are you with me? So, thought, if you think every day about what you're going to do, your life will begin to change. Are you with me? The process begins with you thinking. And what you think about every day changes and will end up as your destiny. So, we need to choose very carefully what we want to think about. If you think that you are going to climb Mount Everest one day, if that is your essential destiny, and that can be, will be, your eventual destiny. Are you with me? But you have to, first of all, clear all the rubbish along the way. The things that are holding you back, the things that are distracting you. Because every day, there are two things that you can choose to think about. One, the things that are critical, urgent, important. Are you with me? Critical and urgent is one thing. That's the thing you have to rush to do. Bills to pay. Are you with me? Work, going through traffic, making decisions instantly on the spot. All of this, however, is not necessarily urgent. Are you with me? I'm sorry, not necessarily important. They are urgent, but they are not important. So the question is, you have to define how much of your day is actually important. The difference between people who achieve things and the people who do not depends on that one single factor. How much of every day is spent on important things as opposed to urgent things? Are you with me? Yes. Urgent is having to do it immediately and the effects of it are felt only immediately. Are you with me? But when you go on to important, then what? Whatever you do today will be felt five years from now, ten years from now, and even more. The Chinese have a very nice saying that defines the difference between thinking important and thinking urgent. Are you with me? This is a very nice saying. It says, beggars. Beggars think from meal to meal. Because that's the capacity of their, of their thinking. The next meal is the, as far as they think about. And then the next one after that. Are you with me? So beggars think from meal to meal. A laborer, someone who gets paid daily, thinks from day to day. Are you with me? A farm worker, someone who gets paid monthly, things from month to month. A landowner, things from season to season. A landlord, things from year to year. A mandarin or nobleman or landlord, things from year to year. But a king, Things for 10 years at a time. His thought processes, his strategies, his planning is at 10 years at a time. However, however, an emperor has to think a hundred years at a time. Because he has to plan for the next three generations. He does not even plan just for his lifetime. He thinks ahead for three lifetimes. Are you with me? Therefore, the question that arises is who are you? How far are you thinking? Are you thinking like a beggar, a farm worker? Are you even thinking like a king? Are you with me? How far ahead are you thinking? To that extent, defines your role in life. 
Are you with me? So if you're rushing every day, because every day it takes up so much of your time, and you're rushing from one habit to an, I mean, so one practice to another, you're basically lost in that day. If I met you a week ago somewhere, and let's say we have a cup of tea somewhere, so let's have a cup of tea, right? You say, sorry, I can't, I'm rushing. I have to make it to the bank. Can we do this next week? Can we do it when we meet again? And then we meet again. Are you with me? And then I say, Are Baba, we met last week. You were rushing somewhere. Where were you rushing? Do you know? The chances are you will not remember. We will meet. We may even have tea. But when I ask you where you were rushing, you will say, I don't remember, more likely than not. Are you with me? Because it's over. Your work is over. And that's as far as you're thinking. Are you with me? So you have to change the way you think. That's number one. The first rule, change the way you think. Second, love what you do. There is no question in my mind that Farooq was absolutely, despite all of that pain, all of that stress, all of that anxiety climbing Mount Everest, believe me, it's a serious amount of pain. And he has not talked to you about the fears, right? The desperation, the anger that he would have felt on the number of times and disappointments that he would have felt. Are you with me? None of this he talked about. He didn't talk about the pain. Because at the end of it all, he was simply having fun. Are you with me? He was enjoying every second of it. And in a nutshell, in a nutshell, Baba, that's the difference. That's the difference between champions and everyone else. That's the difference between the one percentile of humanity who actually run the globe, the world that we live in. They are the people who write the music we listen to, who create the movies that we watch every day, who write the books that we read, the generals who draw the lines that make borders, that make into, into countries that we live in. Are you with me? The one percentile of humanity that have changed history is only one percentile. 99% of us follow. True? True or not? Did you even design the t-shirt that you're wearing? You design the shoes that you're wearing. Everything has been designed and done by someone else. Are you with me? And the more successful the person, the more the influence, the more the impact they have on us. Are you with me? Tomorrow, Beyonce wears a scarf. Suddenly, the scarf is selling out everywhere. Are you with me? Tomorrow, you know, somebody else, Tom Cruise has a special hat and the hat is sold out, colors. Are you with me? Why? Because we see it and we follow. It's time to draw that line. Are you with me? Sheep follow. Lions walk their own path. But then if you're going to be a lion, you have to live like one. Are you with me? You have to roar like one. You have to have the courage of a lion. Are you getting my point? Which means the first thing you have to do is stand on your own feet. This, 
This is your secret weapon. This is your tool. This is enough to conquer the world. This. You don't have to look out anywhere. You don't have to look at anyone. You don't have to look for anything. You don't have to climb that mountain because this mountain is the single most important mountain that you have to climb. Are you with me? You are a master of anything that you do. Anything. In fact, some of the most silliest things that we do, silliest thing, right? People actually risk their lives doing it. They risk their lives practicing it. Are you with me? Just so that they can achieve a moment of fame on YouTube. Are you with me? For a moment of fame, for a few seconds of fame, they are willing to risk their lives. Now you have to respect Farooq because he's a man who planned for this, who put it together for years before he attempted it with a team. Are you with me? But to show you what the power of determination the power of dedication, the power of daring, determination, dedication, and daring. When you put it together, you can achieve anything. It doesn't take all that much. Are you with me? Practice makes perfect, they say. Practice does make perfect. But you must be willing to do it every single day. The only way you can do it every single day is number one, you cannot look at it as work. The instant it becomes work, your brain shuts off. Are you with me? So it's a matter of getting your mind switched on. Your mind is the most devious thing that you have. It cheats you every single day. It's a prison that you lock yourself in all the time. Are you with me? And until you learn to break free from this mind, you will forever be enslaved to it. Are you with me? This is your problem. No one else is your problem. No one else is your problem. Are you with me? If if you are looking at somewhere else for the source of your problems, you are looking at the wrong source. There is only one. It is you. Are you with me? I'm still talking to only 15 people. The rest of you take a seat, relax, enjoy yourselves. You know, this is not about coming all the way here to meet me or take a picture. This is about for changing your lives. You have to learn to look into the mirror and respect the person who's looking back, which means, which means, the day you take yourself seriously for the first time will be the day that anyone else can take you seriously. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your word is your bond. Don't give it easily. Respect it. The day you teach yourself to respect your words is the beginning of the day that others begin to respect your word. Do you understand? I cannot stand up there and lead the people that I do from the countries across the world in the fashion that I do if they do not respect my word. They have to believe when I say to them, I will do this, that I will do it. (laughs) 
that I will do it or I will die doing it. The day that happens, you conquer. You conquer any obstacle in front of you. There are people who do this every day because they're still not able to take that and apply it in their day-to-day -day life. But they can apply it in the most craziest things. Are you with me? This is truly what you want to perfect. This is the greatest tool that the Lord has given you. With this, you can conquer anything. You need to conquer hearts. But we do know that this, this right here is the single most powerful thing that you can have. With this, you can change lives. You can change your life, the lives of others, the others that depend upon you. You can achieve things. You can build hospitals. You can build clinics. You can change the world we live in. It has always taken one mind to change the world. Are you with me? Be it Mahatma Gandhi, be it Nelson Mandela, be it Martin Luther King, be it Mother Teresa, be it Napoleon, be it Genghis Khan, one mind, be it Salahuddin. It has always been one mind. Are you with me? This I appreciate what they're doing. I'm saying to you, without having to break bones and break limbs, let's break our barriers, let's break our boundaries, let's break this prison. Because nobody, see there are no flaws in the master plan, meaning there are no mistakes in the master plan. Are you with me? So if there are no mistakes in the master plan, then why are you carrying this that you have hardly used for most of your life? Either he made a mistake or you are making a mistake right now. Those are the only two things that you have to look at. He made a mistake by giving you a Ferrari or you haven't learned how to unlock this. Right now, you don't need to do magic. Nobody's asking you to go for the next Nobel Prize in physics. But just to raise it by one percentile of usage. Disciplining yourself, for instance. Are you with me? Respecting your word, for instance. Using your mind to craft your lives. Are you with me? Choosing to love what you do. So it does not turn out to be your greatest obstacle, but turns out to be your greatest joy. We can choose every day to complain. Till the cows come home, we can complain and complain and complain. Because, unfortunately, that's what society has taught us to do. Are you with me? Or you can choose to turn that energy into solutions. You can analyze the problem or you can analyze the solution. In networking, one of the most fundamental things is you have to keep finding solutions. You're dealing primarily with people. And with people, it comes a myriad of problems. It's always complicated. Are you with me? And you have to constantly find solutions. Are you with me? But you have the tools right here. Do you understand? And there is only one way to do it. Try, try, try again. Are you with me? It's simple. Those guys... Do you think they just started out by jumping from building to building? They started out jumping from box to box. 
At two feet, they fall. Are you with me? They do it at two feet until they are masters of jumping at two feet. Then they go from two to 20 feet. And then from 20 to 200. And then after that, it doesn't matter whether you are two kilometers high. You have already mastered the art. Are you with me? So start at two feet. Start with two people. Make your mistakes. Win or lose. Whether you win or lose with them, it's always a win for you. Because you are constantly learning. Are you with me? There is no other way. There is no shortcut. Why do you want a shortcut? Why do you want a shortcut? People keep asking me this question. You know, that oh, I want a shortcut. I want to get there faster than you. Are you with me? Why do you want a shortcut? When you love what you do, you want it to last. The instant it becomes work, you're looking for a shortcut. But when it becomes a passion, you don't need shortcuts. Are you with me? You just don't give up. You just don't give up. That's all. See, when you love what you do, Baba, nothing gets in the way. Are you with me? There are, new, there are no new problems. There are no new problems. Just a repetition of the old ones. Are you with me? Solutions are always there and always to be found. But there is no shortcuts. You just have to try and try and try and try and try and try and try. And try, 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 and try. And then it happens. So, what you have is you have to recognize that the trying is your destination. The trying is what you want to master. Are you with me? It's not about achieving it. It's about doing it. Are you with me? So, are we ready 